let us continue with the previous topic that is we are going to prove the we are going to prove the an element array with a array factor from the downwards is 13.62 db for proving that one we are continuing our total electric field till now we have derived et is equals to e naught into 1 minus e power j and 5i 1 minus e power j of psi now above equation we can represent i am writing n j n chi i am writing into two terms j n pi by j n chi by 2 j n chi by 2 this i am splitting n into two types n by 2 n by 2 i can write like this in denominator also j chi i am writing into two parts j 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 only 1 will get so like that we are splitting in order to make into a standard form so what we are doing now we are multiplying and dividing by j n chi by 2 so what is left over there minus j n chi by 2 if you take common it is j n chi by 2 minus e power minus j n chi by 2 by 2 in denominator also we are taking this minus term over here after taking that minus term what we got e power minus j chi by 2 common this term will be left out next after simplifying what we can write over there e naught is equal to that term will be outside e power j n chi by 2 is outside we will left with e power j n chi by 2 minus e power j chi by 2 that can be written as in terms of sign multiply and dividing by 2j you do it you will got the both the factor in sign next thing we left with e power t is equal to e naught with the same factor this n minus 1 we are replacing as chi let us assume chi is equal to n minus 1 by 2 into chi now what is e power j theta cos theta plus j sin theta so we are writing that two format so e t is equal to e naught into this factor into this whole factor what we are saying it is nothing but the chi less than chi because this is greater than the given sine ratio so for that we are writing in some chi factor so this if you want to write in terms of its field over there so what we are doing we just cross multiply it over there total electric field by your e naught in nth term should be written as 1 by n of the same factor clear so that we have written this is called as array factor for n isotropic source element so now what we are doing we got the array factor now we want to find out the null factor for finding the null what we are doing we are considering the same factor and equa equating with 0 so the given factor is what this one sin n chi by 2 we are equating with 0 because we want to find out the null point that is the minima one to get the null point what we can write same n chi pi by n chi by 2 can be written as in sign when you you had 0 you had 0 degree 180 degree 360 degree in general form we can write plus or minus n pi so that we have written with this chi is equals to this 2 shift over there we can get cross multiply 2 n pi by this we are writing another n as capital n over here so we got chi value what is chi actually we know the chi is equals to beta d cos theta plus alpha so this we already have derived so that factor we are using now so what we have done the chi we replace as b d cos theta plus alpha the plus alpha shift over there it will become minus alpha so we get with b d cos theta theta is equals to first null point null point means theta n is equals to the given factor we have written so next we are writing b theta cos theta is equals to minus alpha plus or minus 2 n pi by capital N so this cos theta as it is beta value shift over there it will be beta d as it is this term we have written where beta can be written as 2 pi by alpha so that beta value we are writing that is a phase difference of the given n element array for that what we are writing we are writing as cos theta n is equal to what is beta value 2 pi by lambda so that 2 pi is written lambda is an upper side we have written this is the left out term so now cos theta shift over there it will be cos inverse of this given complete element so now in this what we are writing value of n determine the order of null first null or second null this n value will depends what type of null we are finding so let this whole factor we are assuming as n chi by 2 so this is equal to the same factor since we are writing for n determine so we are writing over there n over there for this given factor we have to get that factor equals to 1.391 this is the constant ratio for that for that what we have written this is as it is this 2 shift over there it will be 2 into this given factor by n so to multiply with that what we got 2.782 by n again alpha shift over there it is minus alpha plus or minus this given factor again beta d shift over there it will be 1 by beta d cos theta shifted it will be cos inverse of this given factor what is beta value again 
2 pi by lambda so same shift over there we got the first theta n value since it is cos theta if you want to write sin theta it will be cos theta you want to write in terms of sin so sin what we can write 90 minus theta is cos theta so we got cos theta in terms of sin it is sin 90 minus theta of this given factor that is called half power beam width we got first null point for half power beam width which is written short HPBW next the criteria I just want to find out the maxima how the maxima is going to be occur for your array factor so now previously we compare with one zero now we are comparing with one so one in sign when you had one that value we have to write it's a, since it is a geometric solution general solution of sign will be 2 and 1 plus pi by 2 that we have written again we have shifted on right side alpha it is minus alpha the given factor this is a theta s now theta s why we are writing because we want to get the maxima so in order to get the maxima theta is equal to theta s beta d shift over there beta d we had as what what is the beta value previously 2 pi by lambda into d with given factor this is the cos theta you want to write sin so cos theta is sin 90 minus theta it is inverse that's what pi by 2 minus sin inverse of the given factor similarly you want to get the maxima of first minor loop so we had two types of loop one is a major and another is a minor so we want to write approximately equals to 3 pi by 2 so that t 3 pi by 2 is what this 2 we had shift over there this 2 this 2 gets cancelled we left with n here so we get with n by using the array factor for n number of array n elements for that what we can write same previous we have already derived this we have written as 1 by n into sin n chi by 2 by sin chi by 2 what is n chi by 2 we had 3 pi by 2 because we are comparing with that 3 pi by 2 what is sin 3 pi by 2 3 into 90 degree 390 is a 270 so tan 270 is nothing but tan 90 into your 3 so that is sin 90, sin 90 degree is what sin 90 degree is equals to 1 so 3 pi by 2 as it is 2 will be upper side 2 by 3 pi that is equals to 0 0.212 so that we have to write in terms of db so we can write 20 log 10 of this number so that is nothing but minus 13 so this minus means it's downwards so minus 13.46 db we can write as thus the maximum of first minor loop of your array factor is 13.46 db down down because we have minus sign so down from maxima at major loop so hence we have proof our given n element array is nothing but 13.46 db down from maximum at the major loop hence it is proved